Key Map Spain. The Key Map Spain is one of the most important additions of Swerplug 4. It mainly lets you define which key ranges trigger which sounds. But it also lets you fully customize specific playing styles of an instrument and multiplies by 8 the number of available keys on your MIDI controller. Let us see that in more detail. Key ranges. The MIDI specification allows up to 128 distinct notes. But obviously, your MIDI controller will not hold that many keys. It therefore only maps to a part of the overall virtual keyboard and usually allows you to scroll up or down octaves to reach specific keys. The Keymap Spain offers you a more flexible approach by including multiple rows of key ranges that can be accessed by pressing dedicated control keys. This is done by dragging the green control keys area to a place where they can be accessed from your MIDI controller. Once you then press the first key, you move to the first row. The second, you move to the second row, and so on. If you are not planning on using the whole eight rows, you can drag the rightmost border of this control area to only have the number of keys you need. Playing styles. Now that the key maps background is ready, we need something to play on. That is what we call the playing styles. These are groups of samples defining a part of an instrument, like a specific string, or a way of playing it, such as normal plucking, trills, etc. They appear over the key maps area as orange rectangles that can be dragged both horizontally, that is transposed to your MIDI controller range, and vertically to be reachable through the specific control keys. You can also drag their left and right borders to only keep a subset of the available range of notes. You can add more instances of a style by dragging it from the bottom of the area and remove an instance by dragging it out of it. Most instruments have a single main style, so you won't need this much, but new instruments like the sitar or surbahar of ML Pack 4 have styles for each different string as well as trills and even a few noises. All these styles wouldn't fit within even 128 keys, so the multiple rows are very handy. Specific parameters per style. One very important feature of Swerplug 4 is the possibility to assign specific parameters to a style. For instance, you may want sympathetic strings of a sitar to be unaffected by the pitch bending events, while the main strings bend normally. This is done by selecting the style and checking the specific params button that appears on the left margin. While that is selected, all changes in the parameters only affect that particular style. So in this case, we go in the MPE or pitch panel and select a forced PBR of zero. Back to the key map pane. We unselect the style by clicking on the outside area and the params are all back to their global values. This makes the multiple rows functionality even more interesting because you can drag multiple instances of the same style on different rows, apply different settings, and be able to switch between one or the other by a simple key press. For instance, you can have a short portamento gliding on a row and a long one on a different row and easily toggle between the two. Another important addition is the use of buses. Each style is outputted to a specific bus before ending in the global output. This allows you to apply different effects to a different parts of a same instrument. For multi-layered instruments, you can even define a different bus for each velocity range type, such as soft, medium, 
and loud. We will describe buses more in detail in the FX Bain presentation. We hope this presentation gave you a good understanding of the powerful features of the KeyMaps Bain, where you can fully customize your instrument. Once you do, make sure to save your settings in a preset so you can retrieve them at any time.